Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tag. Good to see you guys again, and I'm here to share my double unboxing and review of the Poco X4 Pro and the Poco M4 Pro. Two new value champs from Poco. Could these be two new great options for you to consider? Let's have a look. So here we go folks, I do have quite a few thoughts about these and with full pricing to be revealed at the POCO launch event on February 28th, but before we get started, let's have a look at the unboxing. Talking about design, at 8.1 millimeters and 205 versus 180 grams, these are essentially a very similar footprint, guys, as a certain other release. But you know, there are some design differences between those phones and this Poco release. Obviously, the big difference here you can see is in the camera module. And I gotta tell you, if you're gonna get inspiration from any phone in terms of design, it might as well be, in my opinion, still the best Xiaomi phone out there, the Mi 11 Ultra. I do enjoy this camera module. It goes all the way to the end. It really does make a difference in the design department. And then you're looking at Gorilla Glass 5 on the front of the X4 Pro versus 3 on the M4 Pro. And with pretty reduced bezels overall, I still think the X4 Pro has the more modern look, but small punch holes for both of these phones. All in all, we've seen this before, folks. But I do appreciate that Poco went a step above with this camera module to deliver something a little bit different here for their release. And in terms of display, we're looking at a 6.67 inch versus 6.43 AMOLED display on both of these phones. And we have a difference in refresh rate as well, 120 hertz versus 90 hertz. But in general use, the panels are bright, the colors are super crisp with peak brightnesses of 1200 versus 1000 and a touch sampling of 360 hertz versus 180. I think these are really solid panels with decent viewing angles on these two phones. And watching content on the X4 Pro and M4 Pro is solid. You see the center punch hole doesn't really get in the way and the bright punchy colors in inky blacks do look really great as well. And in DRM info with L1 security level for Widevine CDM, it's HD Netflix on both of these releases. It's an L1 party here on Frankie Tech. And talking about performance, here we see the Snapdragon 695 on the X4 Pro, and we have the Helio G96 on the M4 Pro. Now, yes, where have we seen these before? But just like those other releases, you're going to have the same Antutu scores for these two phones. The performance is pretty mid-range overall, but I do like seeing that we have this virtual RAM extension, extending the RAM by 2 gigabytes to 8 for both of them. But unfortunately, you can see we're only running Android version 11, despite having MIUI 13 on board. I'm not sure why this is the case, but as you can see, you're still getting regular software updates. And yes, folks, I know MIUI 13 has been a bit of a pain for a lot of you out there. Overall, guys, I haven't had too many issues with these releases, but I have seen stutter from time to time. And hopefully soon enough, we will see Android version 12 on these phones as well. And talking about battery, we have a 5,000 milliampere capacity on both the X4 Pro and the M4 Pro. 67 watt fast charging versus 33 watt on the M4 Pro. And honestly guys, I think 33 is enough for a phone at this price point. So it's nice to see the X4 Pro step it up to this flagship level 67 watt charging, which should get you from 0 to 100 in just about 40 minutes. And yes, just like those previous releases, guys, you will see the same fingerprint scanner. It's pretty much ubiquitous on all the 
Redmi and Poco releases at this point, and the functionality is pretty much the same as well. And vibration motors, I will say there is quite a step above between these two devices. The M4 Pro having, I think, a little bit more nuance to the vibration motor, but all in all, guys, the vibration motor is pretty mid-range for both of these phones. And you'll have solid comms on these devices, including Bluetooth 5.1 versus 5.0, NFC included as well. And of course, the big difference though is that this X4 Pro is a 5G phone, so you'll be able to plug in to the 5G network with this device. And here we go with the audio speaker test between the X4 Pro and the M4 Pro. Let's point the mic forward and have a listen. <laughs> So what can I say? A pretty solid performance from the dual speakers of these two phones. I would kind of rate the X4 Pro to be a little bit better, has a little bit more surround sound. The M4 Pro sounds just a little bit more tinny, so an 8 out of 10 and a 7 out of 10 respectively for these phones. And lastly, talking about the cameras, we have a 108 megapixel versus 64 megapixel main camera here on these phones and an 8 megapixel ultra wide and that 2 megapixel macro camera. And the layout is pretty much identical as you can see on the backs. I will say though, there's a little bit of a lip on the X4 Pro while this is flush on the M4 Pro. And you'll have a solid shutter. It's actually a little bit faster on the M4 Pro. Not sure why. And in my experience, guys, the camera quality of these is pretty similar. But I have noticed in some cases, the 64 megapixel main camera of the M4 Pro does a little bit better, actually, in certain conditions. But my biggest gripe between these phones, same as that Redmi Note 11 series, folks, no 4K rear video on either of these. You might expect it on the more budget release on this X4 Pro 5G because of the limitations of the Snapdragon 695 you have 1080p 30 fps which guys i need to be consistent is also unacceptable on these releases it's a bummer folks but either way have a look at these photo samples taken both day and night and hit me up in the comments what do you think This is rear-facing video on the Poco X4 Pro and the Poco M4 Pro. Shooting in 1080p 30, no 4K rear video, unfortunately, again on these phones. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. <sighs> it's tough here, guys, but still, beautiful day here in Hong Kong. Listen to the mics, hear how they sound, and hit me up in the comments. What do you think? And this is rear facing video on the Poco X4 Pro and the M4 Pro. Shooting in 1080p, 30, coming to around 6 p.m. here. Looks pretty good on both. I'd say it looks a bit more warm on the X4 Pro. Hope you guys are doing well. Not taking my mask off now, guys. It's pretty serious over here. And we're trying to stay as safe as we can. But listen to the mics here, how they sound. And hit me up in the comments. What do you think?
So that's it for this video and my final verdict on the Poco X4 Pro and M4 Pro. They're solid releases and I'm sure Poco is going to price them accordingly. But I just feel guys something is missing from these releases. Of course I think we need to address a little bit of the elephant in the room here. Rebrand. And when I took these phones out of the box I was almost surprised because I just asked myself didn't I just review these phones? There's so much guys in terms of similarity between these releases and the Note 11 series that you really just wonder what is the strategy behind doing these kind of rebrand phones. Now I will say the execution here from Team Poco I appreciate at least in the sense that they were able to add a little bit of their design to these devices. If it wasn't for these camera modules and this Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra look I would be a lot more critical of these devices. But that being said I do appreciate the effort here and if you're looking for a solid budget device that doesn't break the bank once again Poco does not disappoint. These are solid phones for the price and I still can recommend them despite the fact that yes we definitely have seen this kind of a release before. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts guys on the Poco X4 Pro and M4 Pro? And are you excited about this release or do you feel it's a little bit too much of the same? Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon for future updates. Thanks once again to Poco for sending these out. I do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more great content here on Frankie Tech. And yes, a bit more watch content also on Frankie Watch. Appreciate the support. So that's it. And this is where I leave you by saying... This is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. I'm liking the Mi 11 Ultra look. Oh yeah.